Welcome back to Digital Dashery. Let's unbox and look at the new Google Home Mini. The Home Mini is Google's latest artificial intelligent infused assistant. It is designed as a voice controlled speaker to be used for a variety of functions such as to control smart home devices, play music, answer trivial questions, set calendar reminders, Google even claims that it can make phone calls. Now, Google always does a great job with branding and that holds true to the packaging of the design of the Home Mini. You see the photo of the Mini on the front, two colorful sides with detailed product information as well. Now let's rip this plastic off and see what's inside the box. You have the Home Mini, the product guidebooks, as well as the micro USB. Now this is interesting that Google decided to go with the micro USB rather than the USB type C. Google designed the Mini to be a smaller version of its signature home speaker. Although the Mini has the same intelligence as its big brother, it has a smaller platform, it's less expensive, and it lacks the sound performance of its big brother. The home Mini is approximately four inches in diameter. It comes in three color options. This is the charcoal version. The other two options are chalk and coral. Now the price of the Mini is $49, which is a great deal compared to the $129 price tag for the larger version. The top of the Mini is covered in a texture fabric. The bottom has a bright orange slip proof rubber backing with an embossed G for Google. The sloping side has a mute switch and a micro USB port. I'll be remiss if I didn't mention that the lack of a dedicated 3.5mm aux jack is disappointing in my opinion. Now to jump into the key functionality of the Mini. There are four multicolor LED lights underneath the fabric that lets you know when the Mini is listening and or processing your request or commands. All there, there are touch controls on the Mini such as increasing or decreasing the volume, play music, stop commands. Most individuals will utilize the verbal commands or what Google calls wake up words. Hey Google and OK Google. After downloading the Google Home app, you can start using the device to connect to your smart home devices, a cast enabled speaker, as well as your Google profiles and more. Let's go ahead and test this thing out. Hey Google, what's the weather out today? Today in Dallas, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 76 and a low of 54. Right now it's 66 and cloudy. Hey Google, what's the current stock price of Apple? The price for Apple stock on NASDAQ is $174.74 as of 1.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, up 1.3% from last Friday. Hey Google, play music by Ty Dollar Sign. All right, check out this Ty Dolla Sign radio mix on Google Play Music. Hey Google, how much did Thor make this past weekend? On the website Variety.com, they say, Box Office, Thor, Ragnarok, rumbling to $115 million opening weekend, Variety. Overall, I think the Google Mini is a great buy. I mean, you can't go wrong with the $49 price tag. It's easy to set up, the mic easily picked up my voice from variable distances, and the speaker doesn't sound bad at all. Being that it's connected directly to the whole Google environment, it's capable of providing tons of valuable information. Now, comparing it to the Amazon Echo, it has a bit of a larger platform, and the lack of the aux jack is just a letdown. I'll leave a link to the Google Home Mini in the description below, just in case you're interested in picking one up. Well, that's my unboxing and review of the Google Home Mini. This is Digital Dashery. We'll do this again soon.